guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video I have woken up bright and early this morning and Tom has actually offered to take Barney into the office for the day so I'm dog free which means I can go out and about with no guilt of thinking I need to get back home for the dog and I thought I'd take the opportunity to head over to the Trafford Centre. I've got a couple of things to do. I want to go into Costco, pick up some bits and also Primark. I've just got a couple of returns to do. So whilst I'm there, um, I thought I would have a quick browse around the shops. I do also have a voucher actually for, I've got a £10 voucher for Abercrombie & Fitch which is like, I think it's like part of their like reward scheme system type thing or um, if you've bought things in the past, they often like give you offers, but this time they've given me a voucher, a 10 pound voucher, so that's quite nice. So I thought I would go into store and have a look because everything online seemed to be like quite a lot more than that and then you've got to sh pay for shipping on top and it kind of defeats the purpose of like 10 pounds off, but I'll have a look in store, see if I can see anything for around the 10 pound mark to grab a freebie, or if not, if I see anything that I really like, then obviously a bit of money off is always a nice help. And then another voucher I've got is for Selfridges. So whilst I'm there, I will have a look at Selfridges, see what I can find. They've got a white company in, this, in the one in the Trafford Centre, so Maybe we'll head to the white company. Yeah, that's the plan for today. I also, whilst I'm there, thought I would pop in. They've got like a little retail park with like a TK Maxx, a Dunelm, a Home Bargains, a B&M, Boots. So we're just gonna have a browse around the shops today, um, as well as getting the bits done that I need to get done. Sipping on my peppermint tea before we go. In my Home Bargains dog mug, it's like at the Kind of an Ember Bridgewater Jeep that I showed quite a while ago. Um, but yeah, I've been doing a bit more of bringing things up from the storage room into our new kitchen space as well, which if you saw my start to organize the kitchen with me video, you'll know what I'm talking about there. Very exciting times ahead. Make sure you've got yourself a nice cuppa as well. Coffee, tea, whatever it is that you drink. An ice drink, some snacks put your feet up guys let's just chill together i say chill we're going shopping but you know let's spend the day together i'll show you my little outfit for the day before we get going so very simple ootd for today just browsing the shops um i don't know whether or not i'm gonna brave no jacket i feel like because the traffic center is pretty much all inside i don't know do i take a jacket or not if I do, I might just take a blazer. Um, but yeah, I've just got this Anina Bing t-shirt on. This is probably one of my favourite t-shirts. I just really like the fit of it and the colour and everything. I'll leave that linked. Um, these are old, unfortunately. I don't think they sell them anymore, but they're from a brand called Everlane. And I remember when I first got these, like, years ago now, the amount of times I thought, oh, do I get rid of them? Do I throw them out? Are they a bit frumpy on me? And now I'm like in my 30s they're like my favorite pair of jeans because they're not really jeans they're like a smart kind of material jean i don't know um but yeah i remember just thinking oh they're a bit frumpy on me and now i absolutely love them so maybe i'm just aging but i really like the fit of them they're kind of like semi cropped at the bottom as well nice for summer and I've just got Birkenstocks on with them. I also don't know whether to switch out and put some trainers on maybe because I feel like Birkenstocks were a little bit too optimistic maybe. We'll see. And then just gonna throw a crossbody bag on and we're good to go. And I've also done like an old school ponytail thing whereby I wrap my hair around the actual bobble so that it's kind of like disguised. Can you see that? I feel like I used to do that back in school but and I also plaited my hair so it's I've not put any heat on it I'm just trying to like care for my hair and I just feel like if I'm not doing anything special and I'm literally just going to the shops and bringing you with me I don't necessarily need loads of heat on my hair so yeah I plaited it um two nights ago now this is two day old hair 
And so I just thought I'd throw it out, but yeah, it's got a bit of a crimp going on with the whole plait. I've decided to throw this blazer on over the top because it is a little bit chilly. So this one is Zara. It's like a beautiful olive green. I feel like olive and navy go quite well together and obviously just plain and simple cream. Well, it's kind of like a charcoal rather than navy. Um, but yeah, this is my completed outfit. Okay, so my car needs a desperate valet. We've even got bird poo on the roof somewhere up there, wherever it is. I don't know how concerned I should be, but when I got in the car, there was a cobweb. <laughs> oh, maybe that's on my list of things to do today. I had to get my car cleaned and hope the Mr. Spider is gone. They have some new um, products from the Inky List in. I've noticed this Chia Seed Hair Cream, Curl Defining Hair Cream. I feel like my mum might quite like that. And then Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Hair Treatment and Peptide Volumizing. All of these stuff like RRP of £15 usually. Um, but yeah, £3.99 or £3.69 actually. These are the products I've tried in the past, um, which if you remember when I opened them, I didn't like them. But I've also noticed that they've started stocking Revolution, um, it's their skincare range. So £10 this usually retails for, £1.99. Speaking of Abercrombie, you guys know I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna head to Abercrombie later, but they've got the Fierce Perfume, the naturally fierce one for women, um, and it's from 58 down to 24.99. Oh, hang on, I've just seen, that they've got that set for 24.99, but they've got this cheap one at 21.99 for just the fragrance um, alone without the like kind of set. And then lastly for the beauty, some more savings to be had. They have loads, they usually just have like one or two items from Bondi Sands, but they've got loads of um, products in today. I feel like this is meant to be really good, the Aero one. Aerated self tanning foam. There is a new tan that I want to try actually from Superdrug, so I might go and see if I can hunt that down. But yeah, good savings here again. $18.99 down to $4.99. Well, this might be quite good. Self tan eraser. I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly regretting the choice of Birkenstocks. I think I was a little bit optimistic with that. I'm okay, it's just my feet are freezing. Um, but yeah, I am all done now at the shopping complex, the retail park. So I'm gonna head into the Trafford Centre now, see what they've got in Selfridges for my voucher, my Abercrombie voucher. And I'm thinking, I was thinking throughout shopping that I need some like napkins and maybe the white company ones could be my voucher option to get some like rustic linen napkins. Um, or do I just get the cheaper alternative? Because they're easy to dupe, aren't they? We'll see anyway. We'll see when I get in there what I end up picking up, but um, I'm still undecided on what to get with my voucher. And then of course we've got Primark to go to as well because I need to take the couple of things back. My hair's all frizzy. Tried to time it whereby hopefully, fingers crossed, there's not gonna be too much of a big queue. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see when we get in there. I'll see if there's anything new as well because the Primark that I went to was the city centre one, which is usually better, but I didn't go to Trafford. So I am returning to Trafford. So I'll see if there's any other bits that I didn't um, feature in my last Primark video as well. And I'll show you, show you what is in, if there is anything. I've seen online, people have shown some sliders that look really nice, like summery sandal sliders. So I might have a look, see if I can see any of those. Um, just as like a nicer alternative to a Birkenstock because I do feel like Birkenstocks are very casual. So anyway, let's head on into the actual Trafford Centre and then I'm already getting peckish so definitely going to get a bite to eat somewhere at some point, maybe en route out. But yeah, without further ado, let's get our step count in. Seems as I've not walked the dog this morning. I usually do 10,000 steps a day but when I've not walked the dog I notice on my step count, on my, I always have a look on my health app on my phone. I always notice my step count is significantly lower, like if Tom's taking him out or if he's in daycare or whatever, so. I can't yeah. help you with that. Okay then. <laughs> new street and brand new me. Side by side by friends I need. Don't you tell me that you're in town. I already know, couple days ago. Hey, now that our names are written in stone. 
I totally forgot that there's a brand new Ellen Cafe here. Tempted, but I think I might go back to Costco for a pizza. I was gonna go to the Ellen Cafe, but it seemed to be very cake heavy. And I don't know if that's just what it is or if they do savory, but I'm feeling savory, so left it today. Focus. There we go. <laughs> Back home now. And I thought I would. Why can I set you up to show you what I've bought? Here's a little sneak peek. You've been shopping. That's <laughs> quite a lot. Um, I feel like, is it a bit echoey in here? It's probably a bit echoey in here. I'll take the kitchen stuff down first. Down, because we're still living in the utility, but let me try and think, what day are you watching this? I think we are about two days off from when you're watching this for having the worktops installed, and then as soon as they're in, the electrician and plumber can come back to sort out like the dishwasher, the fridge, the plugs, the tap, and I think that's it. Then we are in a working kitchen. Yay! So exciting. Um, we do need to finish painting as well. I think, I think they're doing that next week. So by the time you're watching this, if you want like regular live updates, then Freya Farrington Home on Instagram, I'll probably have shown you and you'll know exactly where we're at um, in real time. But um, I think by the time you're watching this, we may have had the painting decorating started um, we're just waiting on like the rest of the architraves to be fit and the skirts and we've ordered well we need to order some coving as well for in the front rooms and yeah oh i'll show you this actually because we did have this delivery arrive today from ikea and it's the we've ordered three no we haven't we've ordered four of the billy bookcases that ikea do and essentially if you just like pinterest it or google it or whatever and obviously we'll show you our diy version but you can kind of diy what looks to be like a custom inbuilt bespoke bookcase floor to ceiling wall to wall which is what we're going to do in here but with the ikea shell a bit like people do with the pax wardrobe system to make it look more bespoke with you know putting the skirting boards and the coving in front so it looks more bespoke so that's what we're going to do here essentially it'll be four bookcases evenly spread out with like mdf panels in between them so there'll be three mdf middle panels which will each have um, a light coming out of it and i've ordered some more lights from jim lawrence for there um, and I ordered the same two actually for in the kitchen above the splash bag. We did have some other lights that I ordered. But I'm just not in love with them since finding these ones. I'm like, oh, I just prefer these in the kitchen as well. So when they arrive, I'll show you them. We're thinking of putting a rail and a ladder on, like inspo, very much love, like Neptune home. And that's what we're thinking. That's our plan. I will show you the whole process. When I say DIY, our joiner is doing it but it's kind of like a DIY we're not doing it personally because we are not the most DIY of couples we're not very handy I like to think I am I like to think I'm creative and like we've we've thought up this Billy bookcase idea but actually doing it we're better off just leaving it to the professionals or else we'll fall out same with painting and stuff we'll mess up, we'll end up having to have someone to come in at a later date and just do it anyway, so we're best off just leaving it to the professionals, we have learned that. Anyway, I've popped into Costco, picked up a couple more of my ginger shots that I love, and also some um, snacks. Got some for Barney, got some dentist sticks, they didn't have the large dog ones, well, I think these are classed as, yeah, medium dogs, 10 to 25 kilos, and Barney's a lot bigger than that he's like 37 kilos so but they didn't have any so anyway never mind also got some little pedigree 
treats. And then these guys, I may include these in my next monthly favorites because I have to just, <sighs> they're insane. They are insane. If you can get to Costco, I wonder if they'll do these on Amazon or something and if I can link them. But they're basically like, they're shiitake mushrooms. They're basically like air dried. Is that what they are? Low temperature cook. So they're really crunchy, but the seasoning on them, so delicious. I bought a bag of these before. I went through them far too quickly. They don't look the most appetizing with them being mushrooms. But honestly guys, so delicious. Absolutely fave new savory snack. So I've got a couple of those. And then fave sweet snack that we've discovered. If you like Domino's cookies, these are insane. They're again from Costco. Um, we personally freeze them. You can just cook them from frozen. We just pop them in the air fryer so they go really nice and crispy and gooey on the inside. Tom insists on having his with ice cream. I just like mine plain and simple. But um, yeah, I've got those. And then everything else that I picked up, I'm gonna take upstairs and share with you. I've got loads of Dunelm bits actually, and I showed a lot of in-store footage for Dunelm, so I'm going to do a separate video. That'll be my next video if you wanna see what I got from Dunelm. I've got lots. So that needs to be its own haul. But for now, let's take these bits up and share with you what I got from Primark, because I did pick up a couple more things. Abercrombie, Selfridges, and the wine company. In fact, before I do, I'm gonna stop procrastinating and get my car clean because if I don't go now, I feel like I never will. Never. That's very dramatic. Today, I feel like I'm not gonna go today if I don't. So yeah, car valeters and we'll get comfy, make a nice coffee, then show you the bits I bought today. Day. Are we comfy? Are we relaxed? Are we chilled? <sighs> Busy day today, but fun day. It's always a little, softens the blow when you've got vouchers to spend as well. It's just, I think vouchers are a lovely gift, honestly. Um, so anyway, I'm back. Car is clean, which is one huge thing that I've been wanting to get done for the longest time. That's now done. That's a load off my mind. Something else I did pat on the back for me and I know a lot of you will roll your eyes at this and think what is she for real but I booked a dentist appointment I hate the dentist I haven't been for probably way overdue the amount of time I needed to go to the dentist it's probably been about 18 months and really it's like six to 12 months isn't it that you should go so I booked in at the dentist that is next week Ooh, I'm going to the dentist but push myself out of my comfort zone and just get it done because it's been one thing that I've been thinking oh I had a bit of a sore wisdom tooth and I was thinking, oh, I should go to the dentist, I should go to the dentist, it's gone now. But I still thought, no, I'm still gonna book in, I'm still gonna get that appointment booked. So yeah, feeling good that at least step one is done. Dentist is booked. Anyway, let's show you the bits that I did get. Sipping on my M&S spiced apple tea, which I'm so pleased is not a Christmas limited edition that in fact they have it all year round. Because apple and cinnamon for me is just, Delightful. Delish. Okay, so the first place that I went to was Home Bargains and I did pick up something, those pedigree treats for Barney, but also a hanging chair. It's gonna be pretty hard to show you, uh, but it's a gorgeous like canvas, natural canvas color. They did have a, I think it was like a striped version, but I just went for the plain and simple 
neutral. Obvs. Obvs. The image is better to show you what it looks like. It's one of these hanging chairs, hanging fixings are not included. So we're gonna have to figure out how I'm actually gonna hang this. But we've got a magnolia tree in the garden and there used to be like a swing rope on it. And now I have like a rope toy that Barney plays with. But I thought, is it gonna be strong enough? And if so, then maybe we could have a hanging chair under the magnolia. Thought it'd be quite cute as we are finishing our house coming to the end of the renovations the garden is next on our list it's like the next big project for us so um yeah we're just starting to think about things in the garden getting very excited for that i feel like we're a long way off but we'll get there and then in terms of primark i did pop back in took those couple of things back that i needed to and picked up some more things so i said i was after some slides slider shoes for summer and I did find some now these ones um, I got in a seven I'm like a six and a half normally but I go for a seven in sliders and for like summer shoes so that they're not too tight when it's hot nine pounds I thought these were lovely they had a set which were black and this color like striped as well but I thought I'd just go for the plain one I feel like it's more wearable and then i also picked up now these were in a seven i think i mean probably don't do half sizes but six and a half would have been perfect i did try on a six in a different color they didn't have six in black just to feel the fit and i do think out of the two seven is better so anyway i got um a seven in the black and i quite like the white stitching these are obviously the hermes dupes but i like the fact that they're padded as well nice and comfortable and these ones were only seven pounds now i was after the brown ones they didn't have the brown ones in my size they did have white ones as well again not in my size so anyway i stuck to just the black i got some recently from h&m which i liked but i ended up returning because i just felt like they were a little bit uncomfortable i did the like corridor test of like walking up and down i thought they're just rubbing ever so slightly and the fact that they didn't have the padded foot it felt very flat and hard on my foot so anyway i sent those ones back but for seven pounds the primer ones even if they end up being uncomfortable and they're just like a quick shoe where i'm not walking in them all day then so be it um and these are super comfy these are so affordable they're from their kind of like summer range of flip-flops they're only £4.50, I got a large which is a 7 to 8 because the medium was like 5 to 6, that was too small. But anyway, they're like a linen flip-flop and they are like the foam, so very comfortable these ones. Very much like a pool flip-flop but a bit nicer than the, I was going to say 90p flip-flops that they do but cost of living crisis and inflation they're now one pound one whole pound the 90p flip-flops and um, but anyway i yeah i just thought they were just a little bit nicer and then last but not least from primark i got this claw clip this was an impulse till purchase but i just thought it was really nice the fact that it's got like the pearlescent kind of texture to it just elevates it a little bit from just being a box standard claw clip and maybe like summer's evening you want to throw your hair up you want to have a clip but actually have it look nice with some like gold jewelry and stuff then i thought this one would be really nice two pound fifty i feel like let me check I knew they did the white company have one like this it's ten pounds this one's only two pound fifty well i'm having a look at their jewelry and accessories on the white company they've got some really nice things but look how nice these are these rose quartz earrings stud earrings how nice are they just a couple of things from abercrombie with my 10 pound voucher i got some basic tees now i have a couple of these already and they are so nice they're from the essentials range and they're like the super soft ones just a good basic and these ones happen to be in the sale in my size there were only two a gray and a white both in a medium there was a different color but it was in an extra small like a kind of beigey brown color so i left that one because it's not my size but 20 pounds but it had this like um highlighter on which meant it was 30 percent off so 20 pounds 20 pounds with the 30 percent off and then my 10 pound voucher meant that it was 18 pounds for the two basic tees when they're usually 20 pounds each so i was more than happy with that purchase now for da -da -da! the white company also they had these on the checkout which i thought i would grab even just to style up or have like 
laid out somewhere. I don't know, it's just like a newspaper style um, brochure that they've done in this like A3 print for the linen edit issue one. So I, I mean, they were on the till and she was putting them in the bags anyway, but got one of those. Um, yeah, okay, so love this purchase. This is a pack of tea towels, 18 pounds their tea towels are for a pack of two. And these ones are gonna be the nice ones. They're gonna be the show ones. Tom is gonna be banned. Seems to ruin tea towels, but these are gonna be the nice ones. And they're the seasonal ones as well because they actually, they're a pack of two, like I said, but they are seasonally um, kind of decorated. So this one says, eat the season, spring, summer, and it's got like a pepper on, some rocket, strawberries. I love the font as well. I'll leave these linked because I do think they're lovely. So that's what the full size and look of the tea towel is. Lots of different things on there. I've got some chives, radishes, asparagus, spring onions, and then, so that's the spring summer one, and then they have the autumn winter one as well, which is probably my favorite. So again, it just says, eat the season on the bottom, autumn, winter, and this time it's got um, kind of seasonal veg with celery, kale, parsnips, um, onions, mushrooms, carrots, pears, that kind of thing. So yeah, love that. And then also for the kitchen, tell them I'm excited for having a new kitchen. I also picked up this gorgeous set. She did kindly pop it in a box for me because they had one in the back that was already boxed up. But there were a couple on display and um, I said, oh, do they come in a box or anything? And they said, no, it's just kind of as they are. But we had a fresh one delivered this morning, so they gave me that one, which is nice of them. So I'll probably keep this box stuff until the worktop's actually in. This is, my intention with this is it's gonna sit on the island. Our induction hob is on the island. So I'm thinking like a tray in the middle with like a candle, these, maybe a vase if it fits, or maybe a vase at the other end of the island. Get them out to show you. It is a salt and pepper like pinch pot set. And they come with these little wooden spoons on a wooden tray as well, which I just think is so lovely. I bought the H&M one in the past and ended up returning it because it came and it was very much gray and black. And I just think this is a lot softer, so, yeah, that one I don't own. That one, I, I sent it back to H&M. That was ages ago now that I ordered that, if you remember that from a, a whole a long time ago. Um, and yeah, I'm so glad I did send it back because I just think this set is so much more better suited to what our kitchen will be. So yeah, we've got salt and pepper pinch pots in the wooden trays with the little wooden spoons. So cute. And how much were these? 45 pounds. For the set so yeah voucher very much went on those as well and the biggest splurge from the white company again thinking on the island a big statement candle i think the biggest in fact yeah the biggest candle i've ever owned from the white company are the 60 pound ones the three wick ones now they've brought out these ceramic ones which once burnt out you can reuse the pot so i decided to get they had seashells or seashells i should say and sea salt so i went for the sea salt because like it's probably one of my favorite scents that the white company do i always say it but if you like the abercrombie fierce cologne this smells like that it's honestly so lovely sea salt vetiver and cedarwood ceramic indulgence candle 120 pounds like i say with a voucher it doesn't quite feel as bad oh opening the box smells amazing. So this is what the candle looks like. Oh, so it's actually not got any branding on it. Um, it's just plain and simple. And yeah, they've got the, I don't think they do any other scents. They might do Lime and Bay in this. I can't remember, but in the store today, they only had Seychelles and sea salt. Smells insane, absolutely love it. So it's four wick. I'm not gonna wanna burn it, but at least I know that once I do burn it, we've got a beautiful plant pot that I can reuse afterwards. And they do have a matching plant pot that's a smaller version that without the candle in it, just as a plant pot. So if you did want to kind of get the two to sit side by side, I think that'd be lovely. I'm imagining once this burns out, like a nice little mini olive tree in here or something would be lovely. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna keep it boxed up for now. Save it for the brand new kitchen. 
actually got a few candles for the kitchen that I've been saving. Like maybe three or four. <laughs> so yeah, I've just been like, oh, it's just too good to just burn in the basement for now. I want to save it for the kitchen. That's everything that I got from there. So that meant that I had about 15, 20 pounds left to spend in Selfridges. So I went to the food hall. I was gonna grab some lunch, but I ended up going to Costco afterwards and getting myself a pizza, which was so delish. Very naughty treat, but it's been a while since I've had one of those. I remember last time I went. I feel like I need to move you down a bit. I remember last time I went, the queue was too big and I ended up leaving it and I was just, ever since then, I've just been craving the Costco pizza. So yes, I did go to the food hall in Selfridges, picked up a few fun snacks that took me to my voucher limit. So firstly, these crisps, which I bought before and love. They're the Iberian ham flavored crisps. They do the truffle ones that are really nice, the olive oil ones. I saw a new scent, scent flavor cured cheese i've not tried that one before let me know if you have and if it's worth it and then i also got these ones from the same brand and then i saw they were half price at two pound 49 and then i also picked up again in that clearance section some salted milk chocolate caramelized pecan nuts these were 9.99 reduced down to £2.49 and then lastly in the clearance section was this from Joe and Seth's uh, popcorn they've got loads of different popcorn flavors at this selfridges toffee apple and cinnamon sounds delightful so I picked these up was 3.39 down to 1.69 and then I got one other thing and again, they've got all the flavors you could possibly imagine of Tony's chocolate. This one is, I always forget which flavors I've had, but it's in a creamy hazelnut crunch. Last but not least, a new tan that I've wanted to try. I've heard good things about. It's called F and Tan, and it is fragrance free tanning foam. They had a gradual tan, they had the tanning water, and then they had this tanning foam. I am a foam lover when it comes to my fake tan, so I decided to stick with what I know in terms of using the foam, but they had light to medium, medium to dark, and ultra dark, and I just feel like you might as well just go ultra dark. If you want a tan, you want a tan, do you know what I mean? You can just wash it off sooner if you need to, so I always just go for the darkest shade they've got. That's everything that I picked up, my little shopping spree for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me and seeing what was new in stores, seeing what I bought today. And I hope you guys get that same kind of shopping buzz that I do when I show you the items that you do watching as well. Cause I feel like, honestly, I was made to do this as a job. I used to love going shopping with my mum when I was younger, getting all the bargains that I could find, getting home, having a look at everything, laying it all out, like trying it all on again. And I, well, that's basically what I do now, but I just film it. <laughs> like I said, I did go to Dunelm, I did splurge, I did get quite a few things. So I will upload a Dunelm haul and a bit of install vlog footage as well for my next video. So stay tuned for that. Have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you end up doing. If it's evening already or if you've still got the rest of the day ahead of you, have a good one. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.